Afternoon guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Glad to be back on YouTube. I have been off YouTube now for about 10 days. I haven't posted a video. I had an advanced survival class out here at the Pathfinder School that was four days long and I had to leave the next morning for Utah for Salt Lake City for the Outdoor Retailer Show. And the Outdoor Retailer Show is a very large trade show that's set up for people who sell outdoor products. And they the vendors come in there and show their products to potential buyers or potential people who want to carry their products in their brick and mortar type stores or on their websites and things like that. And it's a chance for you to, if you have a booth, show your product to people. Or if you are in the market as a vendor or as a retailer, you can also look at other people's products. And we did a little bit of both. Um, I was there with Waterford Press promoting my survival Duraguide pamphlets that have been out for almost a year with Waterford Press or a little bit over a year. And so we're promoting those products, but I was also showing some other new Pathfinder products to potential buyers. And then I also traveled around to a lot of the booths that I have relationships with from the past and presently to discuss R&D with them and look at some of their products and maybe test a few of their products as well. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to show you a few products. You will not necessarily see these products on our website right away. I test everything pretty thoroughly before I decide I'm going to sell it. So I picked up a few products for testing. And then if I'm satisfied with the product, I'll probably sell it on my website. There are some products here that are Pathfinder products that will be available on our website fairly soon, if not already, that we showed at the Outdoor Retailer Show. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you those as well. So let's start with the stuff that's already on the Pathfinder School's website that are Pathfinder products. Um, obviously, you guys have seen the 1.8 liter bush pot. We did a video review on that. What we have come out with now is sobering that's perforated, very similar to the one that goes on the bottle, for the bush pot. It fits over your bush pot just like this underneath the butterfly handles so that you have a way to get your bush pot up off the fire if you don't want to hang it by the bale. You're just trying to get it on the hottest part of that flame, two centimeters above the base. You can put it on this stove ring and you can cook on it that way and just shove sticks in there, put it over top of hot coals or whatever the case may be. That product is on our website currently along with the 1.8 liter bush pot. The other thing I wanted to show you that's currently on the website at the Pathfinder store are the new camo dry bags. I've had a lot of questions about these ever since I shot video using the prototypes back, I don't know, probably six months ago. And that's, that's how it works. You know, we prototype things. We test them pretty hard, and it takes a while to bring that stuff to market. So it's been about six months that we've been working on this project. And this is a 10-liter woodland camouflaged dry bag that you can put your gear inside of and keep it waterproof. It rolls down at the top just like this and has a snap buckle on it. Now, the 30-liter bag, that's just like the 10-liter except it's 30 liters, same camo pattern and everything else, has a strap on it with a clip on the bottom so that you can shoulder carry that bag if you'd like. A lot of my instructors carry their instructor kits at the Pathfinder School in those type bags. So this is very much exactly like the orange bag that we were selling on our website except these are now camouflage. We have them in 10 liter and 30 liter and they're both available immediately for sale. They roll up pretty small. If you just want to put one of these in the bottom of your backpack or whatever the case may be, to have an extra container to hold rainwater or water catchment device or a boil dump device, you'd have it for that. The 10 liter one is one that I specifically carry quite often in my kit. Okay, with that said, those are pretty much Pathfinder products that are currently on the market, currently in our inventory on our website and you can buy them right away. Let's talk about some of the products that I am testing right now currently that we are thinking about carrying on the Pathfinder store website but they are not currently there. And you're going to see these products in videos and that's the reason I'm introduction, introducing them to you now is because I'll be using these in videos and doing a lot of product testing on these items and I want you to see them now to get a feel for it so when you see them in a video you won't have to be like, well, what's that? What's that? Where do you get that? You're going to know. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, the first one is a basically a clean canteen cap and it's a really heavy duty ABS plastic cap that actually has a D-ring device on it. You can see it right here. It has an aluminum D-ring on it. It fits all of the Pathfinder bot water bottles as well as clean canteen. So it's going to fit the 64 ounce that we saw on our website as well as the 32 ounce Pathfinder bottle. 
and it gives you that flat there's no hump on there like the other cap has on it so it gives you the ability to put more stuff in your bag by putting things on top of this bottle as well because it has a flat cap and then that d-ring you've got if you want to hang it off something or carry it by a piece of paracord or a lanyard or whatever the case may be you've got that now we're looking at i've got a 27 27 ounce bottle here by clean canteen and the reason i'm looking at this is because it's a wide mouth bottle it's also compatible with all the other caps the cap for the pathfinder bottle the cap for the, the, the new cap from clean canteen all of those are compatible and this will make a really nice scout style bottle for a haversack i generally carry a narrow neck like a 16 or 14 ounce clean canteen bottle when i saw this 27 ounce with a wide mouth on it that I can interchange caps on and things like that and these also will fit the MSR filter and the MSR water filter will also fit the top of the Pathfinder bottle in case anybody wants to know that information we did check that out this weekend so I just thought that a different size bottle that was smaller that was more of a haversack type carry bottle would be good so I'm going to test it out I don't have any reason to think that this is not going to be a good bottle I beat clean canteens to death about as much as I've beat the Pathfinder water bottle to death and they all seem to hold up really really well but I wanted to show you that cap because we will probably be carrying this cap on the website. Um, maybe two or three weeks because I want to test this one a little bit more. You can see this one's been beat up a little bit by one of my instructors. But I want to test out a couple more of them on other bottles just to make sure that they hold water really well. There's no problems with the seal and that they hold up to abuse. And then we'll think about carrying them. So moving on to other products real quick. Um, Adventure Medical Kits. Is a, they're very great folks over there. Uh, very good friends of ours. We do a lot of product research and development with them. We're talking to them about some cross-promotional type products, cross-logoing products right now. One of their new products is called the Sea Splint, and it's very much exactly the same thing as a Sam Splint. Instead of being orange, it's yellow. We use these Sam Splint type items a lot at the Pathfinder School because we carry major first aid kits in the back of our vehicles and things like that when we have classes out here, and especially in advanced classes where we have a large pack that the instructors carry around with them with more advanced medical type kit in it because of injuries that are possible out here in a 4,000 acre wilderness and last week we did have a guy get injured he got a very severe sprain he's actually in an air cast for the next four weeks we had to put a SAM splint on his leg before we took him to the emergency room and evac him from the property so SAM splints are something that we use quite a bit out here so I wanted to test these by Adventure Medical Kits to see how they held up and see how they work out for so I got three of those to put in our instructor bags for our medical kits out here at the Pathfinder School. Um, this is a new product, a new company. It's called McNet is the name of the company that we're, that makes this product. And this is called a signal towel. And it's a microfiber towel, very much like the Aquamira microfiber that we saw on our website now. Same type material. This one actually comes in a bag that has some tie downs on it. So you can actually tie this down to the back of your pack and it has reflective a reflective X on it and it also has the orange background now it comes in a coyote brown uh, pouch and inside that pouch is a towel that is coyote tan but the neat thing about this towel is and it's the size of a beach towel the cool thing about this is a it's got a big orange signaling square in the middle of it it also has several areas that have grommet holes sewn into them so that you could actually use this for an emergency shelter if needs be as well with that orange side out so like I said it's about the size of a beach towel it's not anything giant it would just give you a good piece of shade or something like that in an arid environment if you needed it but it's a microfiber towel so it gives you the ability to use this for hygiene first aid and things of that nature as well as a lightweight cover plus it gives you a signaling device and I thought that was pretty neat so I went ahead and picked one of those up from the company to do a little bit of product testing on and we may or we may not carry this on our website yet it depends on how durable it turns out to be. We've also talked to that company about some other things. But it's a very simple system that you just fold it back up and stuff it back in the mesh bag. There's some survival information inside the mesh bag as far as ideas and ways to use the blanket, which work out pretty well. And you've got that mesh bag that you can use for valuables and things like that after you take the towel out if you're using it. And then, of course, it has that big reflective X on the outside and tie-down points for your pack or for your back or for your front whatever the case may be um, again you know adventure medical kits carries SOL stay outside longer is what that stands for 
and they carry the escape bivy, which we've talked about in other videos. And this year they have come out with a green escape bivy that's not orange. It's got the same reflective material on the inside, same temperature rating as the other escape bivy is. It's a very good little waterproof bivy bag that is green with mylar on the inside instead of orange if you are not trying to signal for rescue, but you want a piece of emergency gear to keep you warm in an emergency. This looks like a pretty good piece of kit. I've used their orange one many, many times. It works, it works great. There's nothing wrong with it at all. We're going to get some of these and order them up for our website, but I wanted to show it to you today real fast. And like I said, you're going to see this stuff in more detail in future videos. Um, Eno, Eagle's Nest Outfitters, has come out with a what they call a small or a shorter hammock that takes up less room. It's about the size of a baseball a little bit bigger, maybe a softball size, and this is only an 8-foot hammock instead of a 10-foot, but it is double width. So it gives you that ability to be a side sleeper in a shorter hammock, so it takes up less room in your kit and also requires less room between trees to hang it. So I thought I'd give that a shot. Um, Eagle's Nest Outfitters has been a friend of mine for a couple of years now. I've used a few of their products. My buddy Rob carries their products. So I thought what we'd do is we'd trial this hammock and then work with them from there. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about these candle lanterns. You saw a candle lantern very similar to this in the TP series that I did. I used one very similar to this in the TP series that was silver. This one is a copper, or I'm sorry, a, a bronze brass type color, kind of a gold color. And it has a sleeve that it goes inside that's neoprene so that it's protected. It basically just pulls out. You unscrew the bottom and you put candles in it. The thing I thought was really cool about this is they also sell a beeswax candle for this as a replacement. So you've got that brass color, you've got that beeswax candle, makes it look a little bit more traditional if that's what you're going for as a traditional camp setup. But I really like the natural glow of candlelight at my camp. And I've used this UCO candle lantern type setup a lot of times. I use it exclusively in the diary of the TP. If you go back and look at that playlist, you'll see it. So I thought I'd pick one of these up because I think we something we may want to carry on our website. Um, it's a very, very good product, like I said, for a small, lightweight candle lantern. If you're into candle lantern or lantern-type lighting, it's a very good, lightweight product. Very robust. I haven't broken the one I've had for three years yet. So I got this one to trial and use in some other videos, and we'll see how she holds up. Okay. So the last item that I want to show you um, is one of the items that I'm really excited about. Not because I'm going to carry it on the website, but because of the happenstance that I came about this product. And there's a company out of Norway called Hella Knives, or Heli Knives. Not sure exactly how it's pronounced. And they were partnered up at the Outdoor Retailer Show with Wetterling's Axe and another company that makes Kupilka and things like that. There's one distributor in the United States that brings all of those products in. That's a good friend of ours that we work with quite a bit. And last year... He had Julie from Wetterling's Axe at his booth. This year, he actually had Tarad Heli at his booth, the maker of Heli knives. And he had a lot of knives at the booth out on display. Well, this knife is a very, very plain, simple, European, Scandinavian design, rat tail tank, just like a Mora. It's got about a 5-inch blade. It's about twice as thick as a Mora, about half again as thick as the Mora Bushcraft Black. Solid carbon steel blade, nice Scandinavian grind, curly birch handle. You can see where it's pinned in the back on the rat tail tang. And it's got the very traditional sheath that goes with it, the very traditional Norwegian type or Viking type sheath that goes with it. And he had a lot of really fancy knives on the table. And this was the only one he had that was kind of a plain Jane looking knife. And I walked up and I started talking to him. And he said, what do you think of my knives? And I said, well... That knife right there, pointing at this knife, I said, that's the best knife you got on the table. And he got a great big smile on his face. And he said, I agree with you, and this is my cheapest knife. This knife is the cheapest knife that evidently Hella or Heli makes, pretty much. And to me, it's probably the best knife of the lot. Most of Heli's knives are stainless steel or stainless over carbon. This is a 100% full carbon steel knife. And, of course, you know I like that. It's got the nice, heavy, 90-degree spine on the back of it. It's just a really good, comfortable-feeling, basic, bushcraft-style, Norwegian-style knife. And I really, really like it. And ended up, Tarad actually gave me this knife. So I'm very 
fond of this knife, and I'm going to be using it a lot to test it and things like that to give him feedback to work with him because he's going to start producing more carbon steel type knives after our discussion, maybe even possibility of a carbon steel folding knife. Right now, most of the folding knives that he makes are, again, stainless or stainless over carbon. So it was very nice to meet Tarad Heli this weekend, the maker of Heli Knives. Uh, I really appreciated the time that he spent with me and the gift that he gave me. So I wanted to share these things with you. The one other thing that I picked up, you probably won't see in videos because it'll be being used, is the Ultra Clamp by Ultrapod. But I wanted to show you this because I use these Ultra Pods quite a bit. I've got one that I had, a small tripod I've used probably for at least five years now that you can strap to trees and things like that, or it's a standalone tripod. And the thing is just absolutely incredible for what it costs. I think I paid $20 for it originally. And it's just, it's just outlasted every other tripod I've ever used for durability. This is a new style ultra clamp that they have by Ultrapod. And it basically is made to clamp to windows, gun, wall, gun walls of boats, and things like that. So I'm going to hook this to the canoe when I'm doing fishing videos. I'm also going to use it for some other things too, to attach it to different attachment points when I'm shooting videos, maybe a sled, things like that when I'm trapping this winter. Um, but it's a very good device. It turns 360 degrees. So I'll be using this a lot, but you won't see it in the videos. So I wanted to show it to you. It's got a connection. You can put any type of video camera on it you wanted to at the top from a GoPro to just a very small cheap type camera that you would use that shoots video all the way up to something like the JVC that I use now could all fit on this mount. It just depends on how you mount it and where you mount it and how you use it. So I wanted to show you guys those products today, tell you where I've been, tell you that I'm back. We'll get back with some instructional videos tomorrow. I appreciate everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, for my business. I appreciate everything that you have done for the Pathfinder School and the Pathfinder Store over the past several years. We look forward to serving you and giving you the best in survival technology as well as the best in survival information over the next years to come. And again, we thank you very much for your time and your views and your support. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.